Using the set out option is useful for positioning key features such as bolt holes, blast holes, anchors, and meshing. Later on in the survey for the MEP or any other features in the tunnel. Next, we'll set out the positions that we originally calculated. To do this, go to the hamburger menu in the upper left hand corner, select survey, and then set out. First thing we'll need to do is put a start end station as well as a station interval. We'll start with this 1200 station and we'll go at an interval of one meter. On the map view, you can see where the total station is currently pointed. And when I press next, we can select which set out position we'd like to measure. I'll choose the blast hole that we created and we'll use auto. This will have the instrument automatically turn to that position and also report on a position tolerance. The iteration shows how many measurements the total station will take before skipping that measurement. And we'll press accept. And then our set out settings. So we can choose a start point name. In this case, we'll put S01 and EDM timeout, as well as auto set out details for start and mark delay. This is useful for a surveyor who is marking out these set out positions as the total station automatically points to them using the laser pointer on the S series total stations. Once the total station has found the point and it's within tolerance, it will measure and store that. In this case, because I'm measuring against a wall, which is several meters away from the station, that is measuring the set out point at an offset, we'll click store and that will store the set out position of that point. Once you're finished, you can escape to the main screen.